repeated subtraction in this module you will learn to use grouping with repeating subtraction to distribute things equally mom i have to distribute these 48 candies i have to give 8 candies to each of my friends to distribute equally i can count the candies one by one Till there is none left for me to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I'm forgetting the counting. Why don't you make groups? Groups? Let me show you. You have 48 candies and you have to give 8 candies to each friend. So, we need to find out among how many friends you can equally distribute 48 candies. First, we make a group of 8 candies out of 48 candies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 40 candies are left. Then we make another group of 8 candies. Now 32 candies are left. If mother makes another group of 8 candies, then how many candies are left out of 32 candies? 8 candies in the third group. Only 24 candies are left. Similarly, 8 candies in the 4th group and now 16 candies are left. Can you say how many more groups need to make with 8 candies in each group? 8 candies in the 5th group and only 8 candies are left. 8 candies in the 6th group, now no candies are left. What can you conclude with this? Did you get to know among how many friends she can equally distribute 48 candies? Here, we get 6 groups by grouping 48 candies into 8s. So, if each friend gets 8 candies, then Sophie needs 6 friends to distribute all the candies. According to this, we can conclude that after subtracting 8 repeatedly 6 times, from 48, we get 6 groups of 8. Let's recap. Here, we have seen that mother used grouping and repeated subtraction to find the number of friends that Alicia needs to equally distribute the candies.